a piece of foam like this comes, it's very lightweight when it comes, right? It has about a half a gallon of water in it. So you get the piece of foam, you fill up a bucket that you know this will actually fit submerged into, you know, enough space under the water and you just set it on top. A lot of foam will have holes in the bottom and words on top. Holes always to the bottom, that's what's gonna suck up the water. But you're just gonna set it on top and you're gonna let go and you're not gonna do anything else and it's gonna slowly sink under the water, slowly suck it all up, okay? If you were to push it under the water quickly, thinking, oh, I gotta get through this, I gotta get it under there, it's not gonna work. It's gonna have, it's gonna be dry on the inside and it's gonna be wet on the outside. And so when you put your flour in, what's ever touching the dry part is going to die within a day. If you were to put it in your sink and run water over it, same thing would happen. The outside's gonna look wet, but the inside will be completely dry. So just let it sit on the water, let it soak, go down to the bottom on its own. It should only take like two minutes. Um, it's This is instant, just gonna go and it's gonna soak it all up really fast. When you cut foam, I do use like a bread knife, just um, serrated knife, and all you do, the foam people are smart enough that they put hash marks for a third and a half. I know just from doing this box before that I need about a half. It's actually just slightly smaller. Let me stick it in here. Now, I made it so it's snug, because if I were gonna bring this to my sister's house for Thanksgiving, I don't want it to actually move around. Um, in floor, when we are making pieces, Sometimes just to make sure it's absolutely secure, we would just slide a little bit in here. Just for stability, not for your stem. 